going back to Dark Court. Hi guys, welcome back to Derby Kai. As you can probably tell, winters are yeah, bloody freezing. <gasps> Okay guys, so um, I'm back, um, still having a few issues, still not completely sorted yet, but it's a lot better than it was, uh, and also a big thank you to everybody who commented and uh, got in touch with me, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm back, I'm starting to feel a bit better about it, not as uh, depressed <laughs> with it as I was, um, but yeah, so um, as I said in that video, uh, not much really been going on. Um, obviously I haven't done any filming uh, all I've been doing on there with the Koi is uh, their normal care filters and things feeding them and anything else that needs doing that way um, projects that need to do we not haven't done so now's the time I've got to start um, we, you know temperatures are dropping um, so it's time for the covers um, whether I did that today or not I don't know but I've got to get those out and clean down and everything else. But I want to get my ball valve sorted and a couple of little jobs I need to get done. Um, so I'm just doing filter cleansing here at the moment. Um, I'll spin you around. I'll have a look at the fish. They're all looking really good. And I've got to be honest, even temperature dropping, I'm surprised we haven't had any carp pox on Henrietta like I normally do. Um, yeah, which is surprising with these temperatures. But we'll spin you around and we can have a look. All these are looking really good. Still quite active, to be honest. Um, they are still having a little bit of food. We're about 7.4 degrees at the moment, so uh, I normally take them down to about 8, and I normally really stop then, but this year they're really active still, so I'm still looking. Um, you can't really tell on them yet, but it's in the, the best picture, but um, yeah. Normally got uh, cot pox on Henrietta. Spin that round a bit more, a little better. It's about the best. Uh, yeah, that's normally on Henrietta. Um, Sankey's got it occasionally, and one of the good the Kajaku, uh, the Kajaku, the Kahaku, the Ginrun Kahaku has it, and there's no cot pox on any of them that I can see at the moment. Henrietta's still got the scale. From where she rubbed with the bit of, with the uh, fluke I had, and the scale loss, but that hopefully that will sort itself out and come back. Yeah, they're all coming around now. So, yeah, Henry has normally have a bit on a, a rear dorsal fin, a tail fin, and a pectoral fin, and yeah, we're well, looking really good. Anyway, very happy with them, the way they're going at the moment. Um, yeah. Water's nice and clear, it's all good around here. Okay guys, so, ball valve to be fitted to the easy pod. Now, uh, another issue I had, I've been looking at the issues uh, last few weeks. Uh, I ordered a easy pod tank connector from Evolution Aqua. Um, there's, I believe there's two types of easy pods, Mark 1 and Mark 2, and it depends on which one you got. Now I think this one, my new one is a Mark 2, but I think this is the Mark 1. So I ordered the tank connector for the Mark 1, which is this one. As you can see, it's got the longer thread here, and that longer piece there to connect your ball valve. Now I ordered that from Evolution Aqua, I think it's about £18, something like that. I ordered that, um, it took over a week to arrive, which is obviously there's postal strikes and everything else, but that's the one that turned up. Just a standard 
tank connector. Now as you can see, there's a bit of a difference between them. Longer thread and longer this side. Now, I checked on their website and according to their website, they don't sell standard tank connectors. Now I could have got one of these off eBay for around eight pound, but I paid 18. So I contacted them, explained the situation. I've tried phoning them up first of all, and they says, sorry, you need to do an email. So I sent an email off and I sent a picture of that, what I received. And I said, that's not what's on your website. They then contacted me back saying, we're really sorry. Uh, it must've been a mix up somewhere. We'll send you another one out. So they sent another one out and I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Nothing, so I contacted them, asked them if they got a tracking number. And they sent me the tracking number. And when I looked at it, it was being said, <laughs> delivery attempted, which they hadn't. And it's been returned to sender. So I contacted them. It says, well, nobody's been here. I've had no paperwork to say. And I was a mix up on the address. Got the wrong postcode. Got it around the wrong way. So luckily, thankfully, um, it was parcel force. They sorted out for me and they sent it got it redirected before it was given back to the sender and sent back to me so I got the one that I actually need and then Evolution Aqua did say thank you for bringing to our attention we will check this out on the website and if you go on there now they do that one and that one I believe that's for the mark one and that's for the mark two but they didn't say that um, so they have now have altered it on their website, which is good. So now hopefully now will be able to get a confusion with that, either our end or their end when you're asking for a tank connector. Um, but since then, these are still £18, pound, but they've gone up to, when I looked, it was nearly £30. Pound. Whether again that's a mistake, I'm not, but I'm glad I got it when I did. Yes, it took two and a half weeks for it to finally get to me, but I finally got it, so I can actually get it on there now. Um, reason being, when that's in there, as you can see, it sticks out a bit further. You can cut the one out a little bit where that one it is right up flush. I think they will, will both do the same job, but it depends on which one you've got, which um, easy pod you've got. Um, because I think the Mark II have a separate it's a little, it's an inner sleeve on it. I don't know. No, I need to have a look. But I ordered that one anyway, just in case. We weren't sure which one I had. So that's the job. For now, I'm going to get this saw sorted. But part of doing this, now when I bought this Easy Pod, you had a mixture of K1, K3, and very little amounts of K1 Micro. Um, now I really like the K1 Micro, so I did want to change it. And I thought it's pretty expensive stuff, but I happened to be looking on Facebook Marketplace, and somebody was selling K1 Micro. Now uh, this is 50 litres of K1 Micro. Now if I wanted to buy that online or from a shop, you're looking at about 85, 89 quid, something like that. I've got the complete bag, posted, 40 quid. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I only need 18, 19 litres in here, but I want a couple of litres around the back. And I will keep some for later projects if needed. But, you know, over half price including delivery. I couldn't say no to that. Absolutely fantastic. Um, really good price on that, so I'm really pleased. So that's another job for today. Uh, I'm gonna swap that over as well. Uh, I'm actually starting to warm up the heater, so I'll put the heater on in here. I'm actually starting to warm up. Um, so, um, first things first, I wanna give the easy part a clean, because the media that's come out of, out of here, the media take out of here, I'm gonna put most of that, if not all of it, into my moving bed. So I did say I wanted more in there. And obviously that's already matured, I'm not gonna waste it. So I'm gonna put that in my moving bed. So first job, I'm gonna get the easy pot of clean and flush it. And then um, I'm gonna get the media out. That's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna have to get the vacuum again. Good idea to get him out. So let me get this cleaned and I'll come back with you when I'm getting the media out. Okay, all flushed, all cleaned. And as you can see, media is out. And the best way to get that out, on back. 
<coughs> so um, now it looks like these are threaded on so what I'm gonna have to do is disconnect the inlet and the pump and take the easy pod completely off and I'll probably stick it on here and I should be able to work from there a bit easier to get the ball valve on so oh must disconnect that much remember so yeah let's get this uh, disconnected up here and uh, go from there okay so the pods up here now hopefully this is just gonna turn and spin out so we do one handed first <coughs> and silicon round it I don't think I'm going to one handed hang on there you go there we go so that yep oh excuse me does the camera work I should just unthread like so so the new one should thread into there I'm thinking I know it's got this gasket on it so look as you can see it's got the uh, rubber gasket that's just threading don't think I'm gonna need PTF because that didn't have any on as you can see that had no PTF on just some just silicon it in to make sure probably because so look yeah whoever silicon it in did it because they didn't have a rubber seal so um yeah let me thread this in and we'll see what it looks like okay that's in there um i didn't do this all the way in so whether you can see in there see anyway where it starts to come through um but i wound that in anymore it would have restricted the flow coming out so i didn't want to do that and i tightened that up again i didn't over tighten that because i did try to tighten it a bit too much and this starts to pop out the seal but this was quite tight getting in um instead of people using things like this to try and on round pipe stuff like that get one of these absolutely fantastic bit of kit these uh uses uh, i use this at work a lot it's getting eye filters off and stuff bit of rubber on there and you wrap that round tighten it down and then tighten it or undo it that way much easier much more leverage if we do it with these you'll be scoring it and all sorts and damaging it obviously these are used on the nut parts but so yeah um that's there now so i've now got to put my and that the union on obviously i've got the other piece to go on as well first um and as you can see it's going to be about you know probably about there on it so six out a little bit no more than the um ball valve the slide valve sorry so yeah um I should yeah it's going to go on easy enough so look I've obviously got to get that bit on first and then that one goes on there like so onto the ball valve so let me get this cleaned up a little bit and I'll uh, glue this in place okay so that's the ball valve in place I have put a bit of water back in just to check it's not leaking, no, no, no. nail down the floor. And obviously this part's not leaking. And I can't this is wet from taking it off, but I can't see any drips or anything there. So yeah, really good. And this is an adjustable one, I can take that off. And there's the adjuster in that side in there. If the ball valve becomes tight, and just take that off and uh, adjust that. So what I'm going to do now, uh, because I am on flexi pipe, so what I'm going to do is I've got this insert to put in there. I'll put a very small piece, or even I'm actually thinking of an elbow, down to my flexi pipe for now. Um, I don't think I've got the stuff to go solid pipe. If I have, I might consider changing that. Um, 
but what I might do is put that in for now I'll see what room I've got and if I can find it again I don't know where I'll put it in one second I've got this up here look yeah I'll put a bit of pipe in there with that in it to the flexi and then when I decide to change it I can because I'll be a bit of pipe on there enough to get my elbow on I can drop it down and go underneath so that's what I might do I'll see if I can get it fit with the flexi first using this um, yeah so let's get this done and then I can get onto the media right here we go all done so what I've done I put solid pipe here if I do this down here to an elbow with a rubber boot into the flexi so I didn't have enough angles or anything for the uh, main solid pipe bit of glue down there um, if I do decide to change it later date I can either cut this one off here and join it or I can join that there cut it and join it so that's giving me enough or just go off that one with more angles if I need to at a later date um, but as far as I can tell that's not leaking down here which is good none of the joints are leaking and I can see which way it turns I should turn the right way first time I'm doing it so there we go it's a waste I might have to take that off and loosen that up a little bit or it might go a bit better once it's done yeah it's fairly easy yep so very happy with that easy enough to open and close so now hopefully my tanks won't leak and lose water right next job I need to put some uh, K1 micro in there and then top this up with my other used K1 micro that come out the easy pod um, so this is that's a litre jug here's a litre jug so I'll put 18 of these in to start because I've got the caps on as well I may go more I can always stick more in so uh, it stops it boiling over they are quite strong caps but I'll see I'll do 18 for now see how it goes and when it's matured a bit I can always put some more in so let's get the media in okay that's 18 litres of new K1 micro um, now I've got to open the slide valves The bottom's on it, and I know that's going to lift it up quite a bit, and it float. And I'm going to have to add more water. So I have to give this a double clean before I did my uh, ball valve. As you can see, I'm a, probably an inch and a half off there, but once that rises up still and starts to mature, I think we're going to be okay. So let me top the water up so I know get this to the right level to see how much is in here. It is going to take time for this to and you can see look nowhere near the water yet. You can see here look. If I push it down. I'm probably about an inch off the water. Um, in there. Something like that. But uh, for a few days a bit running. That will start to sink slowly over time. It's get wet. If that starts to go, that will uh, start to sink. But I do want to raise the water up first. Oh, drop to piece. And hopefully that's going to catch a lot more of the fines before it goes from the upflow. Um, and that will catch the finer stuff. Fingers crossed. So let me get the water topped up. Um, and we'll see where we are with that and I'll see what else, what's next to do okay now the water's up to its desired level as you can see it's quite high in there <coughs> but as it starts to mature that will drop and then if I need to I can add some more next job I want to get some of that into that We've got two sides to do, so let me start getting that stuff in there and then we'll see how it bubbles up. 
Okay, as you can see, this is uh, moving quite well, but I can assure I can uh, get some more in there. So, and this should boil okay, it's quite mature. Okay, so we need each side. Let me get some more of this in. I'm sure I can take some more and I'll get some on the other side. Let's see, not to that left. I got most of that in there. I'm happy with that. I don't know how to overdo it. I don't want to start getting any dead spots. I'm going to probably put some in the other side. In there, so that's going okay. Um, what I do want to do, I've got loads of this left over, what have I got, 27 litres left, something like that at the moment. I am going to put another couple of litres in the main pond, and the easy pod, because over time I know I've lost some, cleaning it out and taking it when I take it off before. So I want to top that buck up with a couple of two or three litres maybe, and we'll see how we go on with that one. So that's got to go in there. Uh, what else for today? I'm trying to do something else I've got to do park and tidy up. Can't remember what. Let me tidy up and I'll come back. Okay guys, so uh, I've got to move stuff, but what I've done I've put uh, hung all them mugs at the back as you can see at the back, and these at the front for now I'm going to have to, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to the shelf, I'm going to lower down I'm going to put a strip of wood along the back there. In fact, I might move this out completely because I'm going to put two shelves. I'm going to put a shelf here and a shelf there. So I'm going to put a strip of wood. I need to, I've run out of hooks, so I didn't bother doing it today. Um, so I'm going to put another row of hooks underneath and another one under there. So there's room for lots, lots more. Uh, but I think there's 18. Include 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 or 19 altogether. Obviously, that's my own one, which doesn't count. Every other mug was actually given to me. I know that one says Derby Carnit, but that was actually was given to me by Nigel when I did, oh, let me see that one, for a pond visit. And that one was given to me from, when I went to, I got that one at uh, Quinnico. So, I am going to hang all these up as well along the bottom so you can see them all better and there's going to be a lot of room, lots more room for a lot more so when people send me a mug I'll hang it up and every time I'm in here you'll see the channel names and advertise the channels so yeah all looking good um, as I said that's going to come down and I'm going to put a shelf down here and I might put one down here as well so I can move the food down for what I need. Don't need to put anything else on there. It's just going to be the food shelves. So there's going to be plenty of room up there for the new mugs. Looking good. I think that's it for today. Um, I'm ready enough. <laughs> um, got stuff to do. Still got the other well, bits and pieces to sort out. So I'll do that hopefully tomorrow. Something like that. Um, so yeah. Don't know how long this video is. Hopefully, I don't need more issues, and if I can upload this one when I need to. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed, everything's going good. So that's it for now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Pop on out to Facebook, catch me on that one. Until the next one, stay safe. Jobs are good.